This episode of D News is brought to you by the Toyota Prius. Let's lead the way. Hey, what's up, hey. baby? Hey, everyone. Trace and Amy here for you on D News. If you've ever met someone and shook their hand, then you know there are a lot of social cues packed into that one little gesture. But it turns out that smelling your hand after a handshake, as odd as that is, is also pretty normal. It's pretty weird. Yeah, it's really weird. <laughs> It might be surprising, humans communicate with smells all the time, specifically chemo signals, the chemicals released by the body through sweat. And because we transfer smells when we shake hands, we can sniff those transferred smells to learn about who we just met. Shaking hands is our body's way of transferring these same chemical signals to someone that we're meeting for the first time. In this way, we can subtly and socially acceptably smell someone, and it is better than sniffing butts. Really, it's better. They found out handshakes did this by having a barehanded person shake hands with a researcher in a rubber glove. They tested the gloves for smell residues to confirm that yes, it's possible that a handshake can transfer odors. After that, they filmed the volunteers as they smelled their own hands. Yes, you smell your hands after a handshake. It's true, I know it's weird, but we all do it. Subconsciously, smelling our hands is a way to learn about this person that we just met. They even measured nasal airflow to make sure hands are being smelled and not just lifted to the face. According to researchers observing people in public cities, we actually touch our faces an average of 3.6 times every hour, and some people more. At least some of those likely involve smelling our hands, although they didn't actually find research specifically on how often we do that. Smells are actually a really big research topic. In 2012, a team of researchers from the Utrecht University in the Netherlands looked at how humans communicate our emotional states through these crazy chemo signals. The team collected fear sweat from men watching fear-inducing movies and disgust sweat from men watching gross movies. They then exposed the sweat to women who were distracted by a visual task, like a memory matching game. The women who smelled the fear sweat subconsciously made fearful facial expressions, while the women exposed to the disgust sweat made disgusted expressions. Which is actually crazy I, if you think about it. I know, right? They didn't even know they were doing it. In 2013, a study published in PLOS One found human body odors are important for communicating genetic identity, immune fitness, and general health in addition to emotional state. This study also collected sweat, but this time it was from women in three groups. Regular exercise sweat, social stress sweat, and antiperspirant social stress. Sweat. I know you probably want to wrinkle your nose at all this sweaty science, but sweat itself doesn't actually smell. The bacteria on your skin is what produces body odor. So while it might have been a bit stinky, sweat is an easy way to move the hormones secreted by your skin from one place to another for science. When people smelled the sweat while watching videos of women, the chemo signals affected how they saw the ladies in the video. The untreated sweat made people think the women in the videos were stressed, and the men commented that the women seemed less confident, trustworthy, and competent. The antiperspirant sweat, though, affects the chemo receptors that carry stress hormones like anxiety and fear. So while they could probably tell that the women in the videos were stressed, the whole effect was definitely muted. So when it comes to handshakes, the time subjects spent smelling their right hands more than doubled after a good shake. But interestingly, the rise is only for people of the same gender. When a subject shook hands with an experimenter of another gender, they sniffed their own left hand more, the one that hadn't been shaken. Same. The researchers also found that they could manipulate how much we got all Mary Catherine Gallagher by introducing smells into the test area. Unisex perfume caused more hand sniffing, while sex hormones actually caused less hand sniffing across the board. To them, this confirmed a connection between handshakes and our strong, if subconscious, reliance on our sense of smell. So how awkwardly aware are you guys right now of how much you probably put your hands near your face and maybe smell it? That's kind of weird. But go ahead down into the comments and let us know how you feel. Make sure you subscribe for more smelly D News stuff. This episode of D News is brought to you by the Toyota Prius. Let's lead the way.